Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have a really, really fun vlog planned for you guys, so keep watching. But before we dive into that, I just want to give a huge thanks to today's sponsor, which is Premium Jane. If you have not heard of Premium Jane, they are a CBD company that uses natural ingredients. They have gummies, they have oils, they have bath bombs. Bath bombs are what I have and I am obsessed. They have all kinds of different things, topicals, ways to use CBD in your daily life. Definitely recommend and I will absolutely leave my link in the description as well as my code on the screen so that you can shop and get a little discount. What I really like about Premium Jane is that they are dedicated to delivering the natural benefits of CBD to those who truly need it. So I definitely recommend that you join their community and become part of the CBD family. I also really love that they are committed to quality and if you're not fully satisfied with your purchase, you can request a full refund on your purchase within 30 days. That is so, so, so important. And I love when companies stand behind your product and offer that. That's how you know that they are really committed to what they're delivering. They also believe in transparency and you can find lab results of various products on the individual product pages. I also really love that Premium Jane has so many different options for so many different reasons that you may need CBD. So like I said, they have CBD oils, bath bombs, all kinds of things, but they have options for sleep, for immunity, for stress, for pain. It's just so awesome that they give you so many options and choices. So I highly suggest that you check them out because they are sure to have some type of solution out of all of those products in their store. And now on to the vlog. Hey guys, editing Ariana is popping in in the beginning of the vlog because for some reason, and this is just technology as we know it, has wanted to delete like key footage in like just a few clips. So I'm gonna go ahead and catch you up really quickly. Basically what I'm about to jump into is I woke up the other morning and I noticed that Thor had chewed up a bright red, deep red pen. It was leaking ink and it was on on the new rug that I just bought. I, at the time, was irritated for two seconds, but then I also realized, like, listen, if I wanna have six kids in the future, possibly, um, for minimum, well, anyway, we won't get into that, but if I wanna have kids, period, in the future, I have to definitely understand and realize that with having children comes accidents, spills, things like that. So if anything, I also use this as a lesson of like, okay, and how can I actually clean this up? Like, how can I solve this? Is there a way to solve this? I'm sure somewhere on the internet, you know, they'll have some way to get red ink out of a rug and sure enough they did so i worked on this for literally eight hours getting this ink out of the carpet and so i am basically showing you part of the process of where i was with using lemon vinegar and baking soda and so i had like the baking soda on it and i will go ahead and now get into the vlog okay it's definitely 357 and I'm still working on this only because I seriously see progress. Like I know that this bag is empty right now, but if you see that there was another full bag of this that had like a whole box of this in there and it was like so pink and so red. Like I'm actually getting a lot of the ink out. So that's why I just cannot bring myself to stop yet when I'm getting so close, but oh, I haven't even gotten like any content shot. It's just really bad. It's so bad, but I, I paid good money for this rug and I really want to see if this can just really 442 I mean like it's really coming together there's just a little tiny bit because I'm so close like it's so little and it's so light pink we are really getting there we're getting there I gotta keep going I haven't even filmed tomorrow's class I haven't even gotten any content like it is ridiculous but it's so hard when I'm so close and I spent money on this and I, I just want it to be gone and I really want it to be gone before Jonathan gets here because I just don't want any commentary on it when it's already something that I'm like slick annoyed about so I just want to like I just want it to be gone I don't want to hear anything about it period I've been cleaning this <laughs> Literally since I found it this morning when I woke up, I have been cleaning this. I am so close. All right, so this is not as good as it gets, but as good as it's going to get right now. I could probably still work on it and I might, or I might just, if you can't see it, it's right there, but I feel like you probably can. Thor, move back, come on now. If I do revisit this, what I'll ultimately probably do is just take this side, flip it right over there. 
but for right now, I knew that I was not gonna be able to just have a red stain and just flip it right there because you'll still be able to see it somewhere over there. So I just wanted to at least get it up as much as I could and then from there, we'll see what we do, but I have to film a class for you guys now. Like, I gotta move on to that room and film a class. So he's going outside for a little bit. <laughs> you always have an eye boogie. He's going outside for a little bit and then, yeah, <laughs> that's it. Hey guys, I am, I think, coming back in from what, the weekend? So it is three days later, three or four days later, I'm not really sure. It is now Monday, which is kind of exciting because I love like starting the week strong. I literally have been cleaning for the last three hours and I have to be so careful. I mean, I started at eight o'clock in the morning, so that's okay, but I have to be really careful because I can literally clean for three, four or five hours comfortably, happily, and look up and the whole day be gone. And before I even brushed my teeth, washed my face, or even went to the restroom, I cleaned the house for three hours. And I actually have a few things that I really do need to do today that I'm going to do, like period, point blank. So today's list, I really wanted to clean the house first. So now I need to eat something so that I don't spend money when I go out. I need to mail off this weighted blanket to my best friend because I already have one. And I know that she really, really enjoyed my weighted blanket when I saw her like back in June. So I am going to mail her a weighted blanket, a brand new weighted blanket that a company sent me. I need to purchase a vacuum. As badly as I want to purchase a Dyson vacuum, I simply cannot spend that kind of money right now. But I do need a cordless vacuum. And the reason I need a vacuum is because I accidentally broke the vacuum that you guys have seen in the other vlogs that I promise it was accidental. Jonathan, I think he's convinced that I did it on purpose. I promise you I did not. I also need to take photos, uh, content for a brand, and then finish those candles, those candle photos. I know it's ridiculous, like I have not finished those yet. I also need to, and I'll show you guys. I'm also thinking I'm going to go ahead and purchase this. I have been needing a tripod that has this boom stick so that I can shoot like content directly down rather than me trying to stand on a ladder or whatever other things I may have in the house. about to go. I'm a wrinkly mess, but I just got a package from Sweaty Betty, so I thought I might as well open it up with you guys because I haven't even seen it really quickly. This time they sent me the Power 7 Ace workout leggings and the Foundation Seamless Yoga Bra. Oh my goodness. I think this is the, the set that I really liked before and they sent me in this beautiful, beautiful hot pink. I'll insert a picture of that set that I love. It fits so well, like the perfect fit. I'll insert it here and then I'm praying that this is that same set <laughs> in blue. Yeah, it's definitely the same bra, that's for sure. Oh my gosh, this soft muted blue. And I love it because it has padding, which is removable, of course, if you don't want it, but I always want it just for a little shape. So I am so happy. This bra fits so well, like trust me when I say. And then I'm thinking that these are the leggings that I absolutely love. One thing I love about Sweaty Betty really quickly, let me just insert this here. For some reason, you know, certain brands, a certain brand may fit you perfectly, the way that you're shaped or whatever the case may be. Sweaty Betty is that for me. Like whenever I get their stuff, I'm like, yes, I already know that I'm gonna get a pair of leggings that just fits me really well, fits my waist really well, fits my bum and makes my butt look good. These are the leggings that I had on, I don't know if I wore it in this vlog yet. I'll, I'll insert a picture here. These are those leggings, which fit amazing, still no camel toe, all that kind of thing, just not, the, like, you know, there's different types of styles. It's just not the style that I had in my head. So the bra, yes, it was that style. This is a slightly different style. So I am very excited. I absolutely love this color. I think it almost matches these pillows perfectly. And the quality from Sweaty Betty is always phenomenal. All right, cool, so we're done here. All right, now I'm actually leaving. Alrighty, first stop is Lowe's so I can get a box for this heavy 35 pound weighted blanket to go in.
now it's time to return this garbage, like literal piece of junk. As you guys heard in the last vlog, this did not work at all. So I went on Amazon and they went ahead and sent me like a little thing. All I have to do is just drop it off at like Whole Foods and Whole Foods is supposed to just like package it, ship it and everything for free. So love Amazon for that. Never ever experienced being able to return it like this and this should be very easy. That was definitely the easiest return of my life. Like Amazon makes it easier to return something online than it is to return something like in person to an actual store. Wow, I love it. I love Amazon. Please Amazon, partner with me for a video because I am all Amazon. <laughs> back in the house and I thought I'd go ahead and do just a very quick little haul, I guess. So two things I got from Target was actually an additional knife, one of these little pretty champagne knives because I had noticed, hold on, come here, come here. So I had noticed that I actually had missed getting one of these, so I only had one knife, two spoons, and two forks. So I went ahead and got another one, only two bucks. And I ended up getting this one. So I got the Shark Cordless Pet. Anytime Jonathan and I get anything that involves cleaning, we always try and look to see if it is for dogs, cats, pets of any kind, hair removal, any of that. It's hard for me to get anything that doesn't specifically say pet or dog hair, especially if there is an option for for it, so I went ahead and got this. It was more than what I wanted to spend. It was like, I think 200, but at the same time, I mean, it's first of all, it's a heck of a lot less than Dyson, let me tell you. Um, although I still really, really, really want a Dyson, but it was more within my price range than Dyson. Also, for me to get something less expensive than that, you're starting to go into the, you're gonna get what you pay for realm. And with having Thor and this rug, and not even just this rug, but like the whole house, like he just sheds a lot. He's a Rottweiler and he sheds a lot, a whole lot every single day. When he shakes, you can just see the hair just flying off of him. It's like, if I want something that's gonna have some kind of quality to it, some kind of suction to it, I'm gonna have to like pay a little bit more. I know $50 is just not gonna get me the suction that I need, especially if we're factoring in cordless and I really want cordless so I can just walk around this house, do it really quickly rather than struggling with the cord. But either way, this floor is gonna get vacuumed today. So <laughs> that's the good thing. If even I'm renting that for a second. Then at the post office, I had two things waiting for me in my P.O. box. This one is from Your New Tea Obsession, which I am actually excited for because this lady sent me an email and I believe she's a yoga instructor as well. If I have her information, I'll link it in the description box. Now, yeah. good boy. Oh, he just said like, there. Um, she's a yoga instructor and she makes teas. So, I was quite excited when she reached out to me. I was like, okay, let me see what this is all about. All right, so here is what is in the box. Some little recommended steeping times, which is cute. Ooh, I like this photography. And, oh, and actually, let me not skim over that. So, this is the cured tea leaves. So you can find out her information. And then these little tea samples. Okay, so this one is East African Current. Hold on. Hold on. Thor, sit. Sit. Good boy. Hold on. So this little tea sample. And then Sweet Holy Basil and Lemongrass. White Hibiscus Passion. Mmm, that sounds like it might be good. Twisted and Sweet. Mmm, that sounds interesting. And then this one is Red Bush Chai. I feel like Jonathan might like that one. I love these little sample packets. They're so cute. And then this, oh, hold on. Oh, I love this little bag. Hold on, hold on. I know you're as excited as I am. Sit. Good boy, okay. So in this little golden bag, let me see if there's anything else. He is so curious. Like he's trying so hard not <laughs> to get this. He's like so focused. Look at his little ears. <laughs> Alright, so then in this we have, I'm not sure what these items are, and I feel so bad to say that, but this little item here, I'm gonna have to look up how to actually do this. First of all, she's definitely the GOAT for sending these, because these are delicious. Biscoff cookies are always for the win. That is perfect. Oh, thank you. That must be what he's going crazy for. <laughs> Oh, nice. 
sweet. Ooh, these are the good ones. These are butterscotch for the win. Yeah, this is awesome. This is such a cute little package. Thank you so much. I'm definitely gonna leave her information in the description. Thor is going to try and get these <laughs> before I do, but that's not gonna happen because yum. And um, yeah. All right, so, so far I've only done literally like from there to there and there to there. And it pulled up like that much. You know, I'm okay, right? I was like, what are you trying to say then? Shoot. So, okay, we're gonna go ahead and, and do the whole house and see how this works. I think I mentioned this to you guys that this is Thor's like new favorite toy. He absolutely loves this toy. And this is also like a good way for him to use his brain and think and learn. So he's already like gnawed on this one because he got so carried away at the flavor that was underneath. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the little bit of bacon that I had left over from Jimmy John's and hide it in some of these little sliding spaces so that he can have a nice little treat, but also like think so and use his brain. I know the reason why we chose to say goodbye. Okay, now that this is done, <laughs> so excited for it. <laughs> Take him over here. All right, look at him already sitting. <laughs> Wait, 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 okay, go ahead, go ahead. Good boy. Crazy for this bacon. The only way for him to slide the red ones over are for him to move the white ones out the way. But he knows how to do that. He's definitely done it before. When I lay down at night, I miss you by my side, telling me about your secrets. Okay, so while he finishes playing, I actually got another package from Beyond Yoga. So I thought I'd show you guys what they sent me. I'm not really sure actually which one they sent me, but we will see. So this is their Darkest Night, and it is Darkest Night. Oh, okay, so I got two different dresses, I actually forgot. And they are like athletic dresses that I had been wanting, and I love the material, the space dye material that Beyond Yoga uses. So I got both of their two little dresses. One is more fitted than the other but both have shorts underneath. Wow, this is quality. Like it's actually kind of heavy, which is surprising, but really reassuring as well. So the straps up close, so the straps there you go, look like that. And the back looks like this. And then they have shorts underneath. Very excited for this. shoulder kind of deal so I'm very excited for that and then these are the shorts underneath the dress
Good morning, guys. I am currently eating breakfast. Just finished vacuuming the entire home with this thing. I am in love, y'all. The way that this vacuum cleaned the entire house with no cord that quickly and that thoroughly, <laughs> I don't know, I think we might be, I think we might have a winner. And currently, that is him with his front row seat of looking at everything and everyone that walks by the house. <laughs> So we're about to go on our walk. I wanted to show you guys something really quickly that I did get also the other day. I'm still debating if I'm gonna keep them, but I think I am. I have heard a lot of really, really good reviews about hokas, especially from Jen M. I don't know if you have seen her on YouTube. She's a YouTuber as well. She's a Korean American YouTuber, I believe. Anyway, I've been following her for like years. And so I decided to go ahead and get some because she has raved about how comfortable they really are. And so I I got the exact ones that she has, except a different color. These are the, the Bondi 7. This is the only color that they had that was like most neutral. So I got these and they are so cushiony. When I tried them on in the store, look at the cushion in these. Also, they're like rounded kind of at the base and at the toe. And when you walk, you really can feel the difference as opposed to like walking more so like flat where something kind of comes out on the edges. It's very ergonomical for your feet and ergonomical for your like walking, natural walking stride. Okay, so here's what they look like on. It's so funny, because I know that when I was younger, I probably would've looked at these like grandma shoes, but honey, first of all, they really don't look bad at all. Second of all, they are so comfortable. Oh my gosh. You get a 90 day wear test, a 90 day walk wear test. And there's a close up of my ashy ankle and my legs that need to be shaved. <laughs> I have been out and about, and it's not even that I've done so much, even though I did stop like four different places. This 91 degree heat, it will make you feel like you've been 20 different places. All right, thanks so much for watching this vlog. I hope you enjoyed, and I will leave links to any and everything that I have mentioned that I was going to link down below, maybe even things that I haven't, and yeah. All right, I will see you guys later in a future vlog, in a future class, all of the above. Bye.